Hello friends. Aloha. Welcome to Tutu's Holly. Um, there's a couple of things I want to show you. I had stopped to myself just in case. And guys, you know, somebody may want to try this. So I just want to make sure I show you what I did to, to prepare. Like the other day I had several of the two and a half by three and a half cardstock already cut out. Come on. Lay it out right up here. Thank you, girl. Okay, so we have some cardstock here. I have some jelly prints that we will measure cut. I think we'll just go ahead and... Oh, I was going to make this one a card. But we'll cut one of these and go ahead and make that as the background. So let's do these first. First thing is, I had stopped myself. I had started to round the corner. Uh... <laughs> I'd gotten this little punch for Christmas. And you can see I've already done this one. This does measure three and a half by two and a half. I will try very hard to remember to put that in the description below. Just in case anybody wants to try this. And to me, I mean, you wouldn't necessarily have to round the corners. I just think it looks a little more finished polished okay so now the other thing we're going to do is we're going to bring out the jelly plate for but first we are going to cover this one completely with this jelly print so i need to measure don't want it to go this way Because I would need, let me see where I would need, probably three and one quarter. By two and one quarter of this. So, oh, am I still... Okay, so I think I like it this way with the pink at the top. So I'm gonna want three and one quarter and I am just gonna go ahead and mark it with a pencil I have here handy. Oop, sorry, no, that's two and a half. Or is it two and three quarters? Hold on a second. We have it this way. So three and one quarter and then And we're only going to do this one time. I just wanted to, in case somebody wanted to see how I came about this. And let's see, this was, yeah, so I want three quarters. All right? Two and a half. Okay, I don't know why I'm struggling with this. This is getting ridiculous now. 
So I need it to come about right here. And then about right here. Okay, let's see what that gets us. I stepped back on them. I'm recording. Okay, I have my little helper here tonight that if she starts biting at things, I'm going to have to promptly remove her promptly. What was that? She also likes to take things too. Is that the color we shall use? Okay, that looks like it's going to be a good fit. So, excuse me, you need to go back out of the way. There, Layla, there, watch. I'm going to go ahead and round the corners on this. Sometimes it doesn't like to work if it's too thin, yeah. Oh, you're going to make a mess, kitty. Okay, we are going to add this to the front of the card. going to start with a cardstock, a jelly print, and then I was really kind of thinking about this. This is some ribbon I have, I'm not sure, but I also want to just go ahead and start this one. So, Layla, come on, don't bite me again. That's why I have all these bite marks on me. All right, step one. Glue it down. Okay, and there's a couple of things that this meat criteria meets. It had the pink yellow and brown, which were a part of the color collab combo, color combo that Carrie Griffin, and you know what? I'm going to try to link it below because, ah, let it get a look. That's, that's okay. We'll make that. That looks good. Okay, so... Let me put the pen back in here so we're not drying out this glue that sticks really fast. You just saw what happened. And then I have some fun things I think we should try on the jelly plate. So, Layla, please. Oh, also I was going to show you that I had prepared these in advance. But all I did was this card actually already... Let me make sure I'm in shot. Is already three and a half inches this way. So 
all I needed to do was to get two and a half this way, which I did, and I put the ruler out here, marked it two and a half, and then I pulled out my little handy dandy cutter that I just put back over here again. It's a small space, but we make it work. Then we um, put this in the cutter. And see, this way, I only have to make one cut. Then, once I get it out of the cutter, and this is what I do. You can do, you do you, you do you. But have fun. If you're not having fun, then don't do it. So then I just punch every corner. I got this for Christmas. And look, it just kind of makes it look finished. So now we have the correct size according to everything I researched when I was looking. Okay, Layla. Goodbye. Goodbye, kitty. So now we could do the same thing for the white. So it measures, well, it measures a little over three and a half. So we might, we may have to trim just a tad off of it, but we're going to take it out two and a half. We're going to mark it. We're going to bring back the cutter. We're going to line this up and cut it with the mark. And this makes another great one too. Then we're gonna take our punch and I always use the biggest one that says, um, gosh, I need my glasses. Um, I think it's R10 millimeter. And see, it gives it such a nice corner and it just makes it look a little more finished, I think. And then if we, Later, we're gonna put some of these on a jelly plate because last night we did some dioxide sprays. So, uh, some jelly prints. Tonight, we're gonna, I'm sorry, we didn't do jelly prints last night. We gel did papers that I had on use your stuff, use your stuff. Okay, I've pulled out a few things. Now, I've had a PM Artist order sitting here that I've been really wanting to get into, but I really wanted to show everybody before I started using stuff. And then I found myself, well, let's just be honest. I found myself pulling stuff out and using it and then thinking, oh my gosh, I never showed that. But I can still tell you where it's from. Um... We're going to do a quick, let me make sure I got everything back together again, because I'm serious about when I said I pulled some things out. Because I just, you know, I just thought I needed them. I needed them right then. Okay, this is a hotel we went to and ate dinner for, um, during Christmas. And the whole time we were there, it played Elvis movies. It was really cool. <laughs> and I just found that, I forgot what I was looking for now, so. Oh, yeah, Marcus. Okay, we're gonna start with this. So this is one of the stencils, I apologize. I've been using it, playing around with some other things, and we're gonna get back to this in just a second. But then, these, there were four of them. You got free when you, um, if you placed an order over a certain amount. I'm sorry. She, it's almost like she brought her cable over here to put it. And with these bubble ones, I need to get off the... I wasn't doing a haul right now, but I feel bad if I don't tell you. Okay, these four stencils 
which are really awesome. And we're going to use them on the jelly plate here. And just a few for some more ATCs. So right now I have them because they were an early release, but they're going to be released soon. Here is the four different patterns. I get, oh my goodness. What are you? Hold, please. I'm sorry. I had to try to take the kitten over to um, my husband to see if he could entertain her. Okay, these right here. And see, I, I should just wait and put this up and do a haul. Because I don't want to do any injustice to this. They have people that design stamps for them, and then you can go on their website and purchase. So, and they have a lot of cool, but like this one, I, I did get this one, and it usually has a name. So it tells you who the designer is. This one is designed by Darcy Sanders. Um, and here is the stencil. See how cool that is? Don't you know that's gonna be really cool on a and then Carrie the Crafter. Oh my goodness. If you haven't seen any of his, he's very creative. So I had actually seen him using this stencil. And I believe it's called. Oh my goodness. Where's the name? Broken Bark. My Look at this. It's right here at the top in big letters. Why am I looking all down here? Here you go. Brock and Bark. It's by Carrie Griffith. And wait, I need to put these back. Yeah. So I'm trying to keep them in order. And he has some great videos. That's what I was trying to say a minute ago. This looks like a... Oh, that's a mask. A frame for this broken bark. I feel like I got something crawling on me. Which way did it go? Did it go this way? Yep. Okay. Let's keep that all together. And then this one is by Rhonda Dona. And I apologize if I'm like just jacking anybody's names up. I'm not doing it on purpose. Oh, yes. I'm so excited to use this. Can you guys see this? Gosh, it's getting dark in here already. It's so early. Does that help? So maybe we'll get to this soon. Here's another one by Carrie. Oh, this looks very interesting. We have another one by Rhonda Donna. Dona. Ooh, bubbles, bubbles. And then we have the one that I kind of pulled out, kind of, kind of, kind of. Um, and it is called Gauze. So it's this one right here. And this was the one thing that I was going to order. The one thing. <laughs> I like their website. I like them. I like both the P is for Patricia. M is for Mariah. It's a mom and daughter. And I just. Oh, in this one. Where was the paper for that one? Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. How come we don't have paper for that? Hmm. Okay, it's probably me. I probably misplaced it, but for now we are going to stick it at the end of this cardboard, so hopefully. Okay, so we got some great things. Oh, and in that same order I got these two stamps which I know look like snowflakes but I also think you could use them for a lot of other things I think more than just snowflakes 
I don't really see snow. Maybe if we go over to the Big Island up to um, the big mountain over there, we might. But over here, it's highly unlikely. Okay, we got some fun things for the jelly plate. We got some fun ATCs to make. Um, another card that we could make into. Let's see. We have at least four to start with. We have some more card stock that we could cut out if we need more. We've already done one of these. Okay. So, let's get back on track here. We have some more of the jelly print. So, if we need to... But here we've already got another one. So, we might as well use this scrap. What did I do with the pillow? Here we go. So let me see. This is three and a half. So we just need two and a half. We'll cut this. And then we're going to round these corners just to finish it off. And again, you do you. Like right now, I have an urge to pick this one up and take the gathered twigs. Where, oh, where is the one I was using this morning? and just distress it some. Let's see what look we get if we kind of just make it look a little different. I don't even know if different's the right word. Just add to it. out of the way so that we can pull over this little jelly plate. Okay, can you still see? So, there's a couple of things I thought might be kind of cool. I have some Liquid Tex Gold here. But I also have some of this bronze. But this is like a powder. I want to do at least at least three, at least one of each color, maybe more. So. Okay. I think the first color I'm going to use is the, well, I probably should try to go light on the first color. Let's see what we get if we use this ink. Okay. Okay, so it's not going to spread all that great. Okay. 
Okay. So, I think what I'll do is... And then use one of I think this stamp was oh that's not gonna work where is it? Okay, we're going to add a few of these Hawaiian looking stencils. And then instead of using a piece of paper, I'm not ready for that yet. I have some cardstock here that I want to try to pull some with. Okay, we're going to do another color. Um... I think we are going to try this color here. And then this color there. Let's see what we get here. Oh, I need a pretty one for that. Ooh, that's a little bit too bright. I'm sorry. It needs to be calmed down some. Calm down, calm down. Hmm. The what over here? How about some yellow ochre? Make some orange. Let's see if we can make that happen. How about that? Okay. Let's see what we got. We can make happen here. Oops. It's moving on me. It's moving. No, don't move. Sounds so rough. Gentle, 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 gentle. Okay, don't know when panic. Don't panic. It's not the end of the world. It's all going to be good. Now, I had this, I got a package or something, I don't even know, but it's really cool though, whatever came in it, it's a pouch, but I thought, wouldn't it be cool to take this and make some markings with it, so maybe, oh no, that let the air out. Oh, silly me. Let's do it this way. Before I absolutely ruin everything. Did it work? Hmm. Pretty cool. Whatever down there. Let's see. What do we want to do? Because that's not... Thank you. 
going to hopefully get this one to fit in here. And then we're going to take some of this tissue paper. Oh, wait, let me make a print first. Because I might be able to get it up with some of this. Could be even cooler though, I think. So now for real, I'm going to take this tissue paper, see if I can get in the middle a little bit. It doesn't have to be all of it. And then I'm going to add another color. So let's see. Let me get all my painty stuff out of the way so nobody's getting paint everywhere. Um, I need a, I need something light and pretty. Hold on, let me see. Okay, we're going to see what we can get with this. Oh, and this is going to be a pretty... Um, your page too. Okay. Before I get too much further, I wanted to have this imprint and I think I'm just going to use the brayer and then maybe a little bit of the tissue paper to clean in a little bit between the lines. And then we need another color, maybe the silver again. Um, let's try this. This is what's speaking to me. Let's see what we get. Okay, a lot. And, and I had one more thing, maybe two more things. What did I do with my last pencils? Okay, let's see what we get if we, I think I want one more color on here. Oh, not glitter. Okay, we're going to try this metallic paint by Craftsmart. It might not be smart, but we're going to go for it. Going to get it all over. Ooh, big piece leaked down the side. Okay, now I'm going to take some cardstock 
and see what kind of pull I can get with this. Ooh, it's sliding. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, people. I have to let that sit for a second because it's sliding all over the place. Um, I gotta stop saying um. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty over here. We might have to go ahead. Let me pause and go wash my stencil. I'll be right back. Okay, well that is, I feel like, let me see, needs to sit for a second or two. So while that's just sitting there, let's try this other thing that I wanted to try. So I want to take one of these cards. I need to get, have something underneath me because, well, because you never know. And then take a stencil. Let's try this one. And then take Vaseline. I'm still in shot, right? And a uh, knife. Gosh, I am sorry. My thoughts are. So what you do is spread Vaseline on it. Now you will have to wash this off. I washed, I tried something like this earlier and washed it off with Dawn. And it, clean, it cleaned up really quick, really easy. So I'm just putting Vaseline in all the crevices that were on this stencil. And then if you look, can you see where it's shiny? And then when I go to put paint on it, it won't stick wherever the Vaseline is at. So I'm about to show you. Oops, I just stuck my hand in there. And then when this dries, you just take and wipe the Vaseline off. It really does turn out kind of cool. Okay, so that was one other thing that I'd been thinking of. Let's set this over here somewhere to dry. Oh, sorry, I guess I shouldn't walk away. Okay, so now we're going to take this card that we were working on earlier before we get any further because I want to put a dragonfly on it. And I thought this time I would show you what I did on one of them. Um, if I stick with the colors of the combo... Then I need a metallic. So that means, that means we are gonna use some more stencil butter, my new favorite. Yay! Let's see what we get with this. Okay, this one right here. Try not to get it on anything else. Try, and I just did, did you see that? I like that one. 
Okay, let me go wash this off. I'll be right back. Okay, I just put that one up there to dry. We're going to see if we can get this one back into the picture. Now, the whole point... Uh, oh, no! Uh oh, this might have been a flop. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Okay. So just go ahead and pull it up. And then part of what I really wanted to do was lay some of these cards that were already measured and had the corners. Let's see, this way probably. There really was a reason for all the madness. No. I had some trees here that is on the back of, and I really wanted to see if I could stamp some color into them. I might not have left enough room. Let me see. Oh no, I just covered it all up. It looks like a mess. Okay, that didn't work. Should we pull it up now? Oh, wait. We have to put something down there, don't we? Ooh. That's kind of cool. Are you hungry, Kevin? That alarm was called the husband in the kitchen. Okay, so... This is what we have right now. So we have still have the pink, yellow, and brown. We still meet the criteria. I really love what was going on here. So I think, I wonder if I could get this to come off on my Everybody move it. Everybody move it. Everybody paper. Move it. Move it. Ooh, did you see that? Oh yeah, at least a little. Sip and get the oh. Okay. All right. Um, what do we want to try now? We want to. This is not in the color combo. This is just, this is just a little sad distraction. So what happens if we put, oops. I think there's still a lot of web. Nope. Okay, this needs to go over somewhere to dry. Stick it over here for now. Um, Cause why not? I don't know. Yes, sir. Tissue paper. I need tissue paper. Whoa, that's not 
good. I just had an avalanche. 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 This might turn out pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Which makes me think that I probably want to put this on rice paper or mulberry paper. tissue out but I'm going to save this because look at it guys that's some goodness there that can be used for sure okay so let me see what I can pick up with this if there's anything else that is in the little crevices or the holes orifices as they say on PM Artist Studios There was two. Oh yeah. Okay. There we have our base. Now we are going to I don't know why I have the urge to do this, but I'm going to do this. I put distress oxide on it. I have no idea what this can do, but we'll find out. Oh, it didn't. That's okay. Let's see if I can roll this up. Sure, why not? Okay. Spread out some silver. Ooh, don't fall on the now. Okay, I'm only trying to do this middle part here. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, we're going to let that dry, and I'll come back when it's dry so that we can pick it up. Okay, wait, while we wait on this to dry, I did go through and try to clean around the area a little bit. Is that going to fit? No, let's not chance it. I thought I would put this in the box, and can you see okay? 
see what happens if you spray it just a little. Maybe we need a different color. That didn't look very bright, did it? How about we try this one? Let's shake it first. I think that's all it needs. Okay, I'll come back when these are dry. Hello, friends. Welcome to Tutu's Holly. Um, just a few quick things. I'm kind of continuing with the um, ATCs, and that is short for Artist Trading Cards. I've signed up to trade with someone, and I need to send her three, so I'm trying to come up with three different cards that so far I think this is one of my favorites um but also someone had mentioned about using pastel colors so <clears throat> what I when this was on the gel plate from last time I would like to put some golden on it this is let me see if I've opened this one up. Okay, so we're going to put gold, roll it with this golden. And then I would like to lay some, some cards. The two and a half by three and a half ATC cards. This one... What I did is I took a stencil, put it on, put, took a, a, a knife, and with Vaseline, put it over the stencil, then sprayed it with the oxide sprays. Then after it dried, it dried overnight, then I came back and wiped all the Vaseline off, and now it's ready to be decorated. Okay, we're going to put this golden on here. We're going to roll this out. We're going to see what we have here. It's looking pretty good to me. And then I wonder if we could get away with we'll just try this for now okay what is just my paper <clears throat> Okay, I'm just bringing this up, guys, until I can make a space over here to lay everything out. Okay, I am going to put this one on here, I think, a little sideways. Let's just leave that there for right now. I think we're going to put... I think we should try putting this whole card... And then on this one, maybe, maybe we try to get it up. Oh, that kind of looks the same, doesn't it? We'll try it this way. Okay, let's see. Um, that probably needed to dry some more. So that means I will go ahead and sorry guys, I should have had the paper ready. Let me get a piece of paper and I'll go ahead and pick up 
what I can. Oh my goodness, making a mess. It's all good. I think it's still too wet to pull. I mean, obviously not where the card is at. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, now we can put that down. Let's see what we got going on here. Hmm, maybe. don't mess it up. Can you guys see this? This will be fun to decorate. Okay, let's see. Uh, don't think we're quite ready. This time we are going to try it with black. Okay, we're gonna see if we, what we get if we try to pull this up with black. Oh, it feels really wet. No. Now, you will catch me using my brayer to roll on the back of these. But really, to roll a two, you should be using your Baron. But depending on your paper, like this looks like it may actually be homemade, like mulberry paper. Those two together might look pretty cool. We're about to find out here in a minute. And I do believe. Ooh. Oops, I don't think I was recording. I put a little bit of gold and black on here. I'm going to 
lay some cardstock on here and see if I can pull the rest of the rest of what's on there. Come on. Okay, that's kind of cool. Not much change. Blue. Okay. Mm, sorry, I must have come again. I pulled a uh, twelve by twelve cardstock after I had put on some gold and silver. But way too much paint on here, so I don't know if it's going to, it may have to sit here some before it can pull that, if it does. Oh yeah, it's a lot of paint. Still may turn out kind of cool there. Okay. We are going to try a stencil from PM Artist Studio. I've been wanting to try it for a while. On the plate, I put down a little bit of this golden and this dark uh, blue. I would tell you what the name of the blue is, except I can't read it. Okay, now I want to take this stencil that I got from PM Artist Studio and I'll try to link them in the Okay, we're going to put it this way Okay, I'm going to take some tissue paper and just kind of rub it over the top. This is a small plate, so. And you know, with jelly plating, you get what you get and you don't complain, right? <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Now, we're going to put another color on top. Did I get enough? I think I'd like some more. Some more, please. What happens if I turn it a little wet?
Okay, now I'm going to move this out of our way. I really do like that. And we are going to What did I do? Oh. Wait a second. Let me see what we got going. Uh, no, I don't want black on that. So... Let's do silver. Oh, that's probably way too much. And these stencils clean up really nice. They're really easy to clean up. Okay, I'm going to see if I can take a peek. Yeah, I'll take a look at this brayer paper. It's looking pretty cool. Just put my hands in that. I'm going to see what I can get pulled over here because I think. I really think this would make some really cool background paper. And then if you needed a, it would also help if you were looking for a different texture because it's, it's like tissue paper. Thank you, Layla. No, no, ma'am. Ah, ah. You don't need that. All right, so I really think I want to use some of this bronze color just to see what happens. Okay, guys. Here's what we have. 
I'll definitely set that up here to dry and end up making something from that if the kitty will leave it alone. And then here's the roll off paper. And I am gonna, I wonder if I should try to, let me see what I got here. Okay, yeah, we need the one more color, so. Hmm. I'm gonna let this dry, I'll be back when this is dry. Okay, so I'm back over here with this. We have several cards that we need to decorate and to finalize, but it looks like this is dry. So this is one of those times where I wish I could, there was a game show that played years ago. I don't, I can't even remember the name of it, but it had Call a Friend on it. But right now I'm looking at the Parisian blue. I think I'm gonna try this one and see what we get. I know, I went back and forth. There's, this is the tough part because we have a blue on there. And I really want to pull it on one of these cards. So anyway, call a friend. I wish I could, someone could reach out and say that one, that one, or this color, this color. Okay, we're gonna do that card and pull the rest of it. I thought I had a paper here ready. What can I do? Yep, sure do. Let's hope that we can get all of this. To pull. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me see if there's. Oh, there is something left. Oh. Now that could be fun to decorate. Can you see that? Let's see what we get here. I almost want to see if I can pull it up and put another card down. What about this one? Let's see what happens if we put this one down. And then we are going to move it over. This might not work. Okay. Turn the gold to, oh, that's right. This is the Vaseline one, but can you see how it's making it iridescent? Try this one more time. Put some blue here. And 
And then let's put a little bit of silver over here. Oh, uh, we're probably way too much, but. Let's see here. Okay, I didn't mean for this to turn into the jelly print show. Show, listen to me. I do need some of that. We're gonna let this sit. It's not quite ready. It still feels really cold. We want, oh, we know what we should do. some of this green we we'll have to see if it even shows up ooh pretty wonder if if it could be a black no we don't want to do that do we See what blue looks like. I 
Okay, so now I'm sitting here thinking maybe what we should have tried is embossing ink. And then I also, one of my friends, Laura from the Half Ass, the Half Ass Crafter. Ooh, that's pretty, y'all. Oops, sorry. I think I might have to. Um, she was talking about you can change the speed on the videos. So if you want to watch the videos, but you it's too slow for you, or you've seen the technique a million times, um, you can do it where it talks real fast. <laughs> Sounds funny now that I'm repeating it. Oh yeah, that's pretty. But what if you're someone that just doesn't really What would that look like, friends? Handmade with Aloha? Yeah. That's what she said. Let's see. We'll just... Whoa! Kitten alert! Kitten alert! Kitten alert! Handmade with Aloha. Um... I don't know if I like it on the front or not. Oh, and it's on black there. It's not going to show up. Okay. Those are pretty. So now, I think we need to do this one up here. In, but Okay, this still would have to be cut. If I remember right, this is three and a half. So really we would come down two and a half inches. And I would probably do it on the back side. So whatever you get, you get. Take it down two and a half. And then you could probably go two and a half from this one. Yeah, so we're going to get two, two ATCs. And then, go ahead and cut them. Can you see her on my way out of it? Cut these a little short. That's okay. I'll trim this one down a bit. Okay, I think I'm actually liking this one better now that they're cut. I thought it would be this one. I do like how there's still some brown shine. Let's see. I 
think we may need Where's that stencil at? Just have it in my hand. Okay, let's see, I kind of got lost in that thought, but these need the corners rounded. And then I am going to, let's see if we can pull this, and if we can, then I am going to pause for a minute, get everything cleaned up, and come back with the next ones that we're going to decorate. And guys, I can't help myself. Um, I was going to collage over this, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Let me show you what I'm seeing. And maybe you've already spotted it. I just have pencils in my hand. What do I do with them? Oh, gosh. I don't know if you see it or not, but I see a gnome. So this is his nose. This is his hat. Here's his beard. I probably shouldn't be writing on top of the... Can you see it right here? Okay, so this is his hat. And this, to me, looks like it could be a trike or a big wheel. I don't know if anybody's going to know what a, a big wheel is, but used to have, let's see if I can get it to show you.
And then I see something up here too. I see a cat. Okay, enough of that. All right. Let's see. Can we... Oh! Are we ready to pull this? Try to pull this? Still feels a little cold up here. So let me do this. Let me get everything cleaned up a little bit again. It just blows my mind how quick things can get so discombobulated. And all... Um... And things where you can't find them. It happens quick. Okay. We've got a ham artist studio here. I've got some stencils of theirs out. I've been going back and forth. This is what I was looking for. if I can do this one hand. Can you see? Okay, I think she's going to need afraid of. It's not quite dark enough. Let's make her... Oop. I just did that, didn't I? Yep. I think this one up here has to be darker, maybe green on in the middle. So the opposite of what I thought I was doing. Oh yeah, so now you can see it. So now I could take a little bit of this green. Okay, I'm liking that. Put this back up. Here's what we have now. Since we changed it again. Uh, maybe what we do is... The Aloha. A 
Okay, I think after I pull this, I may go around with one of the Copic markers and just, uh, what am I trying to say, Tammy? Go ahead and say it. It's all okay. I'll find it here, I promise. But I may outline it <clears throat> and see if I can bring it out just a little bit more because I really do like that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull this. It's going to be, pretty sure it's going to be, is what it is. Oh, yeah, it came out pretty cool. We might be able to use this. That's still way too much goodness to be leaving on there, isn't it? Don't you think it's just... Hmm. I gotta try it one more time. Sorry, I knew I said I was quitting. I know. I gotta get ready for work tomorrow and I have a couple of videos I need to edit because I will have to edit this. Got a little carried away with everything. Okay, that's different. Ah, why are you pulling up? Don't pull up. Come on, are you not gonna work? Okay, these two will still need some more, but that is going to require more paint. Okay, I am going to stop this for now, I believe. See if I can edit some videos. What I should do is come back with a clean space. Clean space. And decorate. and finish some of these up. Maybe by that time they'll be dry too. What do you think about this one? Do you know what I think it needs?
No, I need a credit card, I think. Okay, I think I need a, like a credit card or something. That's not working exactly like what I had in my vision. You know what I mean? But, I wonder what would happen if we took... nothing here that I can use. Wait, hold up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's not really working. Okay. I'm going to stop this for now. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I will be coming back on to finish some of these up. And again, this is just fun. Um, and another way to use up the art supplies. So I'll clean up, I'll come back, move all the jelly plate and stuff out of the way, and then we'll go from there. Okay.